Good morning everyone welcome back to my channel and thank you guys so much for joining me for today's video oh my god scooter scooter okay you could stay you could stay anyways i as i was saying welcome back to my channel i went ahead and got ready for the day today we are doing a get it all done i have some errands to go run starting with some paperwork i have to run to an office for jonathan and our business and then we have to go get some groceries come back home get all the home stuff done as was well some work that i need to get done and just just everything including dinner hopefully at the end of this video so it's gonna be a long one definitely make yourself a cup of coffee so you can sit down and enjoy this video or do stuff alongside me but let's go ahead and get started as always if you enjoy this video please give me a thumbs up and please don't forget to subscribe and let's go ahead and get started Scooter! Oh my god. You're just like your father. Okay friends, I am back home. I got my morning errands taken care of. Definitely took longer than I anticipated. As always, does it happen to you guys where you're like, oh, it's gonna take like an hour and then it ends up taking like two or three because that was me this morning, but got it done, got it taken care of. And it's been such a long time since I do a grocery haul. So I figured I would include one in this video since I did stop at Walmart and pick up a few things. First off, we're just gonna rapid fire this, some coffee creamer, because even though we still have half of this left in the fridge, there's nothing sadder than not having creamer in the morning and realizing it too late. So always have a backup. So just grab that, hazelnut is our favorite. I also grabbed some milk, lactate, you guys know Jonathan and I are lactose intolerant, so super important to have lactose-free milk. Next up, some bagels. I didn't really need these, but I, I found this berry spread right here and it just sounded so good for like a midday snack which is what I'm going to eat today so grab that. Next up I just got this I don't know garlic roasted pork loin I guess so I like throwing this in the crock pot as a quick meal just with some mashed potatoes and some type of vegetable I also went ahead and picked up some green chili for green chili stew this week um, some garlic herb butter for tonight I'm actually gonna do a pretty new dinner I've never done this but Jonathan loves Longhorn Steakhouse and he always gets like the sirloin and some Brussels sprouts so I'm gonna try to mimic that at home so I got some sirloin steak um, I also grabbed some rosemary so I can I don't know cook with it either in the mashed potatoes or on the steak um, and then I grabbed a few more things for the Brussels sprout recipe. So I got some maple syrup. Um, one second. The Brussels sprouts, of course. So I don't know what is it with the Brussels sprouts from Longhorn, but they're absolutely delicious and Jonathan loves them. So he will have random cravings throughout the week and we'll go to Longhorn to have them. But I think it's a simple recipe if I can accomplish it here at home. So if I can, it's something that I'll start incorporating into more of our meals. But anyways, I grabbed some steak seasoning. This is just the Kinder's. I've heard this is really good, so I'm going to try it out tonight. I don't really ever cook steak, but again, trying it out for the first time. Um, that will be in this video, so definitely make sure to stick around till the end. I got some sea salt. I just used the regular, like 
table salt, I guess you can call it. And I've been wanting to try just like sea salt. I don't know if there's a difference, but we'll figure it out. And then of course I just grabbed some A1, some steak sauce. We absolutely love that with our sirloin. So that is what I grabbed. Did I already show you guys the bananas? If I did, sorry, but I grabbed some bananas. Love this for my smoothies every day. And then just some strawberries to make those cookies I shared in my previous video. If you guys missed that one, I will link it up here. But those cookies are delicious. So I went ahead and picked some up as well as some cream cheese for that recipe. Again, I'm not sure if I already showed this, but anyways. Lastly, I grabbed some potatoes. Yellow potatoes are my favorite for mashed potatoes which is what I'm gonna be making tonight. And that is everything I picked up that is food. Um, I also picked up just a shirt. I wanna show it to you guys because they're so good and they're so inexpensive, but ah, they are basically just these like long ribbed or long sleeve ribbed shirts. They're super, super comfy, so inexpensive, and they last forever. I have a few that I've had for, sheesh, since me and Jonathan moved in together. So definitely recommend these if you find them in your size. The smaller sizes usually always are sold out, but I found a small today and I went ahead and picked it up and they're really, really good. So that is everything I picked up at Walmart. I need to go ahead and start picking up the house and then we'll just go down our do our to-do list so i hope you guys are still enjoying this video definitely let me know down below in the comments if you are still here with a banana emoji so yeah let's go ahead and start picking up Okay friends, so I'm making myself a quick bite to eat, so I am fueled for the next few hours and I am starting off by just tidying up and picking up around the house. This is usually what I do every single day. I don't know how things get messy every single day, but they do, so I'm just folding up our blankets, putting our pillows back in place, and just picking up any miscellaneous item I have laying around and just making things look pretty before I go in and sweep. My intention was to mop today as well, but that just didn't happen, but we got a lot done. So this is the first step before moving on to doing some laundry. So these toys I'm picking up right now are dog puzzles and my dogs love doing these. I will have a clip of them actually doing them later on in the video, but just making sure I clean them up and put them away for now. And then now I have to do laundry. I have been trying to stick to the schedule of doing it once a week and one day I will wash it all and the next day I will fold it. That just works out so much better for me than doing a load, folding the load, doing another load, and so on. It's just more realistic this way. So I'm starting off by just separating it by colors. I do a load of blacks, then dark colors, light colors, jeans, and my jeans, I separate them by Jonathan's work jeans, and then just like nice dress jeans. So that is it. I'm just putting in the first la load of laundry before moving on to picking up the kitchen. That's sure something I could use A cure for the air conditioning 
in the kitchen i just started off by putting away groceries and then putting away the dry and clean dishes thank goodness that i have been making an effort to keep up with dishes because today i only have a few mugs to wash and it makes it just really easy again i don't have a dishwasher i've never used a dishwasher even growing up so i just do them by hand and i'm just gonna quickly get this done so i can have a clean slate before I get to work. Appalachian sunrise meets my skin. Even with my eyes still closed, I can feel it coming in. Golden, I'll call it home. Golden, 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 golden. And of course, we are going to wipe down all the surfaces. They were definitely messy, but once they are wiped down, it just feels like you have such a clean and, I don't know, calming slate to get anything else done throughout the day. Rainbow trout and hummingbird wing. Golden, I'll follow you. And like I said earlier in the video, my intention was to sweep and mop, but it was almost two and this is when I like to sit down and get any work that I need to get done done. So I decided I would leave a mopping for another day. It was still pretty clean, so I didn't really feel like I had to mop, but... I wish I had had the time, but it's okay. I just got some sweeping done and then I moved on to just getting ready to get some work done, which you guys will see in just a bit. But of course, by now there was another load of laundry that was ready to be switched. So that is what I did really quick before sitting down and getting to work. So while I was cleaning, the dogs were outside enjoying some daylight, but as I am sitting down to work on the computer for a few hours, I want to bring them back in. And for those first few minutes after they come back from the outside, my dogs are just full of energy and they're running around. They have the zoomies. So I like to calm them down by giving them an activity just to stimulate their brain. And I love these puzzles for that. So I just fill them up with the treats and they have to figure out how to get the treats out there's a level one a level two and a level three so obviously they go for the easiest one first and then they move on to the next one and the next one mingo is the only one that doesn't really participate in this but he is also my calmest dog so it doesn't really matter but now that i have them occupied i'm sitting down to get some work done and by work i mean either sometimes i have some editing to do sometimes filming or like today i had some youtube intros to do so if you guys didn't know i actually do youtube art for other youtuber and that includes like youtube intros and slides banners and even the little subscribe pop-ups you see throughout the video so that is what i'm doing here if you guys have a youtube channel and you guys are interested in purchasing a youtube art package I have several options, just shoot me a message on Instagram and we can just talk about it. They're completely custom to you and to your channel. So again, if you're looking for something like that, definitely let me know. But that is what I'm getting done right now. Mm -hmm. 
And of course, by now, it is time for a second cup of coffee. So I am just serving myself whatever is left in our coffee pot. We make this first thing in the morning and I just drink it throughout the day. So I'm making my second cup of coffee for the day and then sitting down just to wrap things up and finish up these intros that I have to turn in. And yeah, that's basically what I did for work on this day. Cold drinks. Okay, friends, so I am done with my work for today, but before I head on to make some dinner, I want to share something super exciting with you guys that I am very excited about and even more excited to just share some details with you guys a bit prematurely, but I really want to gauge what you guys think and your thoughts and just your interest. But you guys probably already saw this mug throughout this video. This one right here, I absolutely love it. I think it is the cutest mug ever and that might be biased because I actually designed this mug alongside my friend Brittany over at Quiet Creations. If you guys don't know, who or what Quiet Creations is. I have shared her mugs a few times in my videos before. I don't know if you guys recall like the ghost mug I used during my Halloween videos or the cute little Santa mug that I used during my Christmas videos. So I purchased those from her. I absolutely love her work. I think she is so talented and I admire her work so much that when I thought of this idea, I knew she was the person and she executed it so perfectly beyond words how perfect this is, again, in my biased opinion. But let me just tell you guys a little bit behind the thought process that led me to this mug. For a while now, I've been wanting to come out with merch, but I didn't want it to be the typical sweatshirt or t-shirt or even like the typical mug with like a sublimation print on it. I wanted it to be unique and something that we could actually all have and bond over. And you guys know my obsession with mugs. You guys know that as cheesy as it sounds, picking out a mug every morning really means a lot to me because it sets the tone for the day. I wake up in the morning, the first thing I do is drink a cup of coffee and I just think that a beautiful, cute mug really does create such a positive vibe for my day. So I knew I wanted to do a mug and I wanted it just to be special and unique. And with this cute little mug, not only is it a way for us to bond over having the same mug, but we are also, sorry, supporting a small business. Like I said, my friend Brittany owns Quiet Creations. She's worked hard at it and she's local to me. So I just think it's such a neat idea. And I don't know, I was wondering what you guys think would you guys be interested in purchasing this mug? I purposely went with a colorful mug because as you guys know, lately rainbows just mean a lot to me. I think a rainbow represents a lot of hope for me personally, obviously relating it to my miscarriage and just hoping for a rainbow baby. But I also think rainbows can signify so much more hope for tomorrow, hope for anything really so i really wanted to just display that with this mug so all the different flowers are different colors we have a blue one a pink one orange one pink one again and then a beautiful lilac color the inside of the mug is actually lilac as you guys can see or just this beautiful lavender color which i don't know why but lavender is just my color this year i really love it i just think that it brings so much peace and calmness and then the beautiful handle this was actually jonathan's idea and it's just like this twisted vine Life can be twisted sometimes, but out of the twistedness comes something beautiful. So again, that was the idea behind that twisted handle. And then the cute little leaf right here, just to signify, you know, that life. Um, again, a cheesy meaning, but I truly love it. Let me give you guys a little bit of detail behind what we're thinking. So like I said, these are handcrafted completely by Brittany. She 
creates these from scratch from clay she paints them she does all the work so they are definitely gonna be a little bit more pricey than a regular mug and i know that that sounds kind of harsh but we're thinking of pricing these at 60 and the, that would cover like shipping and all of that shipping and yes i know it's expensive and i wish that we could make it way lower but like i said they're handmade it takes her a lot of a time love and hard work and energy so yeah <laughs> it is what it is that's kind of what we're thinking we're trying to gauge again with what you guys think um what your opinion is how many of you guys would actually purchase this mug at 60 dollars like i said and yeah definitely let me know down below in the comments what you guys think like i said we're trying to gauge interest and see how many we would need of course because they're handmade, she can only make so many in, you know, a set timeline. So we are thinking we are going to have like a set amount of them and then they'll, you know, go on sale. And once they, we sell that amount, like they'll be gone until we're ready to restock if there's interest of course so again let me know down below in the comments what you guys think i'm so excited and so proud of this mug and again i'm so excited to be able to help my friend Brittany with her business and yeah i don't know let me know what you guys think i'm really excited it really does mean a lot to me like I said, it just represents so much and of course I just wanted to share something with you guys. So love it, love it, love it. I hope you guys did too. Let me know down below if you guys would get one if they do go on sale. And yes, now it's time to go ahead and get started on dinner. It is, I don't even know, it's not super late. It's about to be four so we have a good start on today i'm feeling good i'm feeling productive have to finish laundry but that's another story let's go ahead and get into dinner okay friends so getting started on dinner i'm gonna start with our mashed potatoes i usually leave the skin on but jonathan actually made a comment the other day telling me that he didn't really like the peels, didn't dislike them, but would rather not have the peels in the mashed potatoes. I've always made my mashed potatoes with peel on it, but I figured I had a little bit of time today, so I went ahead and peeled them. It took me maybe like two minutes, so went ahead and got that done, washed them real quick, and then just cut them up into smaller pieces. I find that this helps them cook quicker and just better i love how tender they are afterwards so just cutting them up before putting them in a pot of water with some salt some chicken bouillon and some pepper and that is it i'm just gonna let them cook through Feet step over splinters of the moon. Okay friends, so next up I'm just putting a pot of water with some salt to boil and once it comes to a boil, I added my Brussels sprouts. I boiled these for about 10 minutes before straining them onto a paper towel. This is just to make sure that they're completely dry before we put them on our baking sheets. Real quick, also I'm cutting them in half and then like I said, I'm going to pat them dry and transfer them over to a baking sheet. Once on my baking sheet, I just added a drizzle of olive oil and I massaged this into them, made sure they're fully coated before putting them into the oven to roast for about 20 to 25 minutes before pulling them out for the next step. Mm -hmm. 
Now back to my mashed potatoes, I just added, or actually I strained the water first and then I added some butter and some milk, mashed them all up. You can add some salt and pepper to taste if it's missing any. And that is it, such a simple mashed potato recipe, but it is so good. I love these mashed potatoes. And now moving back to the Brussels sprouts, I will go ahead and pop up the ingredients of the little sauce I made for you guys to reference as well as down below in the description box but all I'm doing is I'm adding the brussels sprouts into my bowl to make sure they are fully coated with this sauce before putting them back on the baking sheet and then putting them to roast for an additional 10 to 15 minutes depending how long it takes for your steak to cook so that is the last step for the brussels sprouts I definitely recommend just going down on the pepper flakes if you like it less spicy, which is definitely what I will do in the future. As you guys will hear in the taste test, some of them came out a little bit spicier than we would prefer, but overall, this was a really good recipe. To the sound, if I could give you more than and lastly, I am the first to admit that I suck at cooking steak, so do not follow this, but this is what I did. I just added some garlic herb butter to my pan as well as a rosemary stem, and that is it. I coated my steaks or sirloin with salt and pepper and then just cooked them, and we like our steaks well done. Again, a lot of people hate us for that, but... Do your steak however you see fit, however you like them, and don't follow this recipe because I suck at making steaks, but I'm learning. Okay friends, Jonathan is here. He's gonna do the taste test. Here is the plate. So there are the Brussels sprouts, the steak. Don't even come at me, you guys. We like our steak well done. So here it is. There's some A1 right here if you want it for yourself. Here the taste is we're doing the Brussels sprouts, okay? Let's just keep oh, that okay. clear. <laughs> I see the Brussels sprouts. Oh, they're spicy. <laughs> that's what I thought too. <coughs> I, that's what I thought too. I was like, they're spicy, but some of them are less spicy. I think it's just if you get a lot of the flakes. Is it hot? Mm. Is it hot? What'd you think? I know that Longhorn is a 10, which is fair. But for my first try, what do you think it's at? You're good. Good? Yep. What's the rating? <laughs> I'll give them a 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10, I agree. I think they're a little bit too spicy. Mm -hmm. Think a little bit less spicy and a little bit more sweet would be perfect. Yeah, a little bit more crispy too. More crispy? I thought that they had burned them. Yeah, because that longhorn I like when, you know, when they're crispy. There's some crispy pop-up things over here. Good. Now mm -hmm. taste the steak. The steak, I'm not the best at, but I did it because I knew you like it with Brussels sprouts. Oh, do you need a knife? They might be dead. Yeah. Is this cow dead? I'm assuming. <laughs> I would hope so. Oh my god. It's actually duck. What? <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's cow. I was about to say, I never, I never had some duck. <laughs> Rate this plate. It's a good, it's good, good, a good plate. Needs improvement. Yeah, maybe a little tad. Tad. Okay, I agree. All right, you guys. Well, that is everything for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, please don't forget to like and subscribe, and let me know down below your comments on the mug. But as always, have an amazing rest of your day, and I will see you guys in my next one. When I further my own narrative